before changing your battery, you definitely need to see this. If you have a new car, you can lose very important settings, but there's a way that you can stop this. Automotive computer memory saving. You can use the OTC, Blue Driver, or Snap-on. And I'll show you three different ways and a few special tips that you definitely need to watch out for. Or just use jumper cables and find an alternate power source, just like I'm using this old battery. I'll show all three ways in this video. This is a very inexpensive way that you can do this, but if you have a high drain vehicle, you definitely need to use something with more power. So make sure you read the instructions on this before purchasing. This way you'll know the amperage load that you will need. As you can see, you just hook up a nine volt battery into the back of this. Then the other end will go into your cigarette lighter. You can lose a lot more than presettings for the seat or radio. Beware, even the keyless entries. The next way, a little bit more expensive, you can use the OBD2 plug. This way you don't have to worry about the amperage load required. And please avoid this very simple mistake. I've seen several people do this. They hook the cigarette lighter back into the port in their vehicle. And obviously, if you're taking out the battery, there's definitely not gonna be any power. Now, this method probably won't cost you a dime, but make sure you don't touch the jumper cables together or touch a ground during this process. You'll start off by hooking up the positive to the positive battery outside of the vehicle, then the negative to the negative outside of the vehicle, and make sure your other clamps are not touching while you're doing this. Then you'll hook it up positive to the positive battery terminal, as I have here, then the negative to the negative terminal on your vehicle in that exact order. Also, follow any of your manufacturer recommendations before proceeding. Next, you'll go ahead and hook your battery back up, positive first and then negative. Please, as soon as you hook up the jumper cables going to the battery outside of the car before hooking up to the terminals going to your battery in the car, you want to make sure that you have power, so use a voltmeter to test that, making sure that you definitely have a great connection. When you disconnect your battery, unhook the negative terminal first, then the positive. There will be an indicator light for the OBD2 plug, so plug into the OBD2, make sure that you have a good connection. If that connection's good, the connection going to the cigarette lighter outside of the vehicle that you'll be using for extra power will also have an indicator. Make sure both of those are lit up. This is one of the number one mistakes I see and before you unhook the battery or proceed with any steps, allow the vehicle to sit for 20 minutes. This will allow the vehicle to enter what's called a sleep mode. Now you can unhook your terminals, negative first, then positive. And now we have did it with no problems. Listen to that engine purr. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.